Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a case numbering variable. Many people mistakenly take this first column in SPSS in the data view as the case number, but actually if you will sort these, uh, these numbers will not sort with it. So it might be useful to actually have a numbering, especially if these are your respondent numbers, to simply have a, a variable called respondent variable. If you've typed in everything and you simply want to use the numbers as they are in here, you can use transform, compute variable, if you've used this menu before, hit reset, enter a name for the target variable, so in this case I will using resp id, cannot contain any spaces or start with a number, a type and label, I'll simply want to enter as a label uh, respondent id, Click on continue. At function group, select the all option, and then the first option should be the dollar sign with case number. Either double click on it, or click once on it, and then move it up, or you can actually type it in exactly like this at a numeric expression. Click on OK, and that's actually it. In the variable view, you will see now at the bottom respondent ID. It uses a numbering. Uh, the decimals are not needed and strictly speaking this would not be a scale variable but simply a nominal variable if I go back to my if I move it actually up click on the variable number 22 left click hold and drag all the way up and now it's also the first variable in the data view and as you can see they will now nicely match and if for example I would sort on the gender then even though this was originally the sixth uh, it's now on row three so if I want the original ordering I can simply sort on this one now and it will be there unfortunately SPSS does not remember this in any way so if I would add a new variable uh, it will not automatically add here now 101 so I recommend doing this uh, probably at the end um, so you can actually uh, simply do it all in one go